Hey guys, what's up? Today I am going to be talking about 10 products under $10. So everything in here is under $10. These are some of my favorites. Some of them you probably heard me talk about. Some of them you probably have not. But uh, I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that it is helpful to you. Almost everything that I'm talking about is on my face today so you can see what it looks like in real life, in real camera life. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So. Number one, I guess I will talk about this. This is an e.l.f. primer. This is the mineral primer, but I, I used to own the studio primer like when e.l.f. was first starting to get heard of. And I really like their primers. They do have that silicone feel, very slick. A lot of people don't like that, but I really like it. I feel like it blurs my pores. I feel like it just creates a beautiful canvas, especially for texture. Whenever I have texture and I put this on, I notice that it just glides over and just kind of evens things out so that foundation looks really nice on top of it. So I absolutely love e.l.f.'s primers and they're usually ranged from $3 to $5. Really, really affordable and uh, they work really well. Next is an e.l.f. blush. I promise not everything is e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. Studio blush in the shade Berry Mary. This is my absolute number one top favorite blush for the winter time, for the fall time, for this Christmas season. I love this kind of blush. It is a purpley blush and it looks scary in the pan, but this is what I have on. And I have their old formula. I know that they reformulated and it's just their formula now is a lot softer. Um, and has a lot more punch. This one is the older one, but it did build up nicely. So it, it was it's good for me because I'm kind of like a beast when it comes to putting on makeup. I just like slap things on and sometimes I look like a clown. Uh, this one I just really like because I feel like you can have like a really nice, very light flush of color. Something that's just gonna give you a beautiful tint to your cheeks without looking like scary purple. You know what I mean? So I absolutely love this color and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love e.l.f.'s studio blushes. They did a really good job. Next, I'll talk about what's on my lips right now. This is the LA Colors uh, Butter Gloss, and this one's in the shade Doll Face. This is absolutely beautiful. I always do that. Every time I have a gloss on, just to remember and remind myself, I am not a glossy girl. I hate glosses because I feel like they're sticky. Hair sticks to your lips. It's just, it makes me feel uncomfortable. It feels like, it just, you can feel like there's like a thick layer of Vaseline that never dries on your lips is what I feel like. It just, it's not fun. But I actually really love these butter glosses because they go on really slick. They go on really nicely. And when I'm talking, when I'm doing things, I don't doesn't feel like I have a lip gloss on my lips. Feels really comfortable. It's not sticky. Like when I talk, my lips don't stick together. You know how that happens and gets tacky. And I do not like that. So these do not do that. Even when I, they're just really slick, really beautiful, buttery, just really awesome. And doll face is a beautiful color. So that's what I have on my lips. It is, does have some pigmentation to it. I also love the, the spatula spoolie thing because it's long and it just, it's just really, really nice. So this one is called Doll Face. That's it swatched on my hand and on my lips. I really like this one. I found LA Colors Butter Glosses at uh, the Dollar General. Next is this little precious gem. I love this. This is the Rimmel Scandalize um, Eyeliner in, what is the shade? I know this, I know this. Trivia, trivia. Okay, I totally fulfilled the trivia. It's the nude one and it is fantastic. I put it on the waterline and I feel like it makes you look more awake. And for someone who has under eye circles, like nobody's business, I need something to make me look awake. And so that's what I have on right now in the waterline, just brightens it up. And it's not as harsh as a white eyeliner, which I love. So, scandalize, meet, thumbs up. Next is this Wet n Wild palette and Petal Pusher. So I love the Wet n Wild palettes. I love their color icon palettes. They are for a drugstore eyeshadow and a drugstore eyeshadow that is under 
like eyeshadow palette that's under $10. It is so pigmented and so worth the money. They have all different kinds. They have a nude one, they have a purple one, they have a fun matte colored one. They have all different ones and um, I really like this one and it's one that's more recent to my collection um, but it has a bunch of purples and they're usually labeled brow bone, eyelid, crease, and definer. Um, obviously you can use this however you want but this in particular one has a bunch of purples, cranberries, things like that. These three on this side are completely matte and then these have some shimmer, some glean. This one has a little bit more of a gl some glitter in it and I just really think that they're beautiful and that's what I have on today. So I'll tell you what I have on. I have this color right here, right very close underneath my brow. I have this color right here in my crease as a transition to kind of soften it. Then I have a little tiny bit of this purple, a tiny tiny bit into my crease, just enough to add like a light flush of color. I didn't want anything too much on my lid because because I just, I just wanted to not do too much. I was gonna put on lashes, you know, the whole thing. So yes, that's what I have on. And then I have this color right here, which is in fact a shimmery, um, really light, pearly kind of pink color on my lid, but super, super light, just enough to kind of um, give me a tiny bit of a pink flush and make my lid lighter than my crease area. But I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this whole palette for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna swatch this side first. Um, and now, like I said, the first three eyeshadows are more on the matte side. All right, so these are the first four shades. I know that they're really light purples, so hopefully it's not too hard to see on my skin, but I really like them. So that's the first four. This is that next row. You can see how pigmented they are. One swipe, it's really, really nice, really, really smooth, and I really like them. So uh, yeah, these Wet n Wild palettes are absolutely amazing. Next is this foundation. I had to add it in. I just picked up another one last night. And this is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I'm in the shade 220. I absolutely love this. I love this more than the dewy one, even though I have drier skin. One, And then I just mix a little bit of drops of oil, and it gives me a little bit more of a glow. I didn't do that today. I want it to be really matte. But I feel that this is comfortable. It doesn't look bad on my skin. And this is one of the most affordable, this is one of the cheapest foundations at the drugstore right now. It's like $5 or something ridiculous like that, five or six dollars. And uh, I absolutely love this. And they have so many colors. They have a concealer that's awesome that goes along with it. I'm glad that you're back. Okay, I had to talk about this. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. Um, I had this when it first came out. I had the brown sugar one. Now there's like three different options. And this one is the most recent one that I got. Uh, this is the minty one, which I think is my favorite from the brown sugar or the minty one. I love the minty one. This is a sugar scrub and you have it in a lipstick form so you don't have to dip a your finger in a lip scrub and put it on your lips. This is mess free, really, really nice. Nice, great gift. I probably have talked about this already in the video. I think I talked about it in my favorites that I just did. But anyways, I really like it. It's really nice and it's under $10. Next is this highlighter that I literally only take out in this time of year. It goes well with my purple blush that I have going on. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in Pink Diamonds, I believe. Something like that. You love how destroyed this is? I love it too. Okay, so this is actually really soft, really pigmented, and it's more of a pinky highlight. And this is what I have on top of my cheekbones right now, and I really love it. These baked highlighters are really nice, and they're baked blushes. I'm actually really impressed because they are really nice as well. Next is this liquid eyeliner that I have been so obsessed with. I love the formula. I love the shade of brown it is. This is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner in Dark Brown and man, I, I just, I don't know why I never used brown eyeliner. I think it's so flattering but it's softer than black. And this is what I have on today as my wing here. I love these Wet n Wild ones. They are so affordable. They are waterproof or claim to be. If you actually scrub it, it comes off really, really easy. So it's waterproof in the sense if you tear up, it's not gonna get messed up. 
but at the end of the night when you try to wash it off it's not going to be hard to wash off so it's kind of like this dark brown i love the brush first off the brush handle is long so i find that it's easier to work with it's like fits perfectly in my hand can you see that it just fits perfectly in my hand and it doesn't have like brush like bristle brushes it's kind of like one of those spongy brushes but it's tapers off to really 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 thin point to the point where I feel like I can really get control and really make a precise crisp cat eye wing and uh, I really like that because I feel like usually brush liquid eyeliner brush tips are just not tapered enough to where you can get like a really crisp thin line so I really like this one it's just easy easy to use if you're a beginner I always recommend this one because I feel like it's super super easy last but not least is an old-time favorite uh, something that's probably this is the cheapest cheapest thing in here this is only a dollar Okay, this costs only a dollar and it's totally worth it. This, this is the LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. I have a whole video swatching the whole line for you. I will link it off down below. But um, I love these. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. They are constantly at the Dollar Tree. All different colors from nude to this dark cranberry shade. This one is called Charming. These smell like... Laffy Taffies. They have a lipstick in one side and a lip gloss in the other. I don't really do much with the lip gloss. I mean, I'll swatch this lip gloss, I guess. This one has a little bit of a tint to it and a little bit of like shimmer to give you that shimmer effect. Okay, I don't know why. And then the lipstick is more like of a cream form. Some of these do look more on the matte side when they dry, but this is the color. So that's the gloss and this is a lipstick. This one again is in Charming. I think this is gorgeous for the Christmas time. I love wearing this around Christmas and I think it's just absolutely beautiful. And it's only a dollar. Go check out that review video. I talk all about it talk about the formula, what I like, the staying power. I swatch them all on my lips. I swatch the glosses. Just go check it out. I absolutely love these and you can find them at the Dollar Tree at any Dollar Tree. There hasn't been a single Dollar Tree that I haven't found these in and I'm going to have to start wearing it because it is getting close to Christmas. No, it's not. I like to pretend that it's getting close to Christmas because it's December. That means it's close. That means Christmas is close. All right, so that is it. Those are my 10 products under $10. I have so many products under $10 like on my list. I'm gonna be doing another one of these sometime in the future if, hold on a second, if you give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you give this video a thumbs up, I will do another one in the future because then I know that you like to watch these kind of videos. So make sure you give a video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. Just hit the picture of my face so you can subscribe and check out all of my social media over there and uh, come say hi. I'm on Snapchat. Bomb beautiful. Super easy. I hope you'll join me. I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.